What's up guys, it's your super place and it's your host Tony G bringing you another awesome market watch and this time it's Digimon, not Dragon Ball, but Digimon. So definitely check it out. Definitely if you're new to the channel for the Digimon content, smash that like button, comment down below what cards we should mention for the next video and definitely subscribe for more awesome Dragon Ball and Digimon content. And so right, like in the title it says, set 1.5 right here, I'm talking about it, is already sold out. It's sold out everywhere, guys. I mean, they announced it and it's sold out. No one has their hands on this. And if they do, you're gonna see it's really expensive in some places. And um, let it be known in the comment section what you guys think. Is this a good sign or a bad sign for a starting game, especially during COVID? Let it be known in the comment section down below. I wanna hear you guys' thoughts. And let me know what you guys think might happen because of this. So, is this a good sign or is it a bad sign? I don't know. You guys be the judges. Um, yeah, so obviously set 1.5 is coming out in February. And I'm hyped for it. Hopefully we can do an awesome giveaway with this. And also set 1 drops at in January as well. And speaking of the cards of why I say that's sold out everywhere. We see it here. Set 1 box is going for $200. And then we have... Um, 1.5 going for 174.97 and a case is two thousand dollars guys so right now if you want to buy it on tcg player it's this price i mean this is insane in my opinion i don't think it should be that expensive even if you're pre-ordering it that is such a high price value for this box i don't think it's valued like that on what is it uh msrp so <laughs> i don't know let it be known in the chat is this a good sign for the card game i don't know and then we do have it as well on this website called Game Nerds, where you could also do pre-orders, but they're all sold out. Like everywhere you go, it's sold out or it's just being sold at such an insane high price. Right now, 198 being the most expensive for set one and then 174 for 1.5 and you guys be the judges. And then Card Nerds is selling pre-orders, but it's all sold out. Even the new Great Legend booster box is sold out, guys. Pretty nuts. I mean, it's really hard to get Dra uh, Dragon Ball Digimon cards right now just because it's not many places are selling it. It's pretty crazy. And then we're going to go on to the next thing and we're going to be talking about some singles. And Core TCG is one of the few. One, we love Core TCG. They support the Super Plays and we support them back. But they're one of the few places that are selling singles. And so I'm going to use this as kind of like a reference guide to see the prices of some singles that I'm gonna be mentioning right here, like Seeker Rares, some Rares, and stuff like that. So I'll probably be using this for now um, to definitely, like, as a reference guide, to see if it's really cheaper here or if it's better to buy it on eBay or something like that. So the first one we're gonna be talking about is Metal Greymont Alternative Art. I think that's the first one I have. In eBay, there's not that many listings, and if you buy it now, good luck to you guys. Um, someone's selling it for $25 and here $89.99 or $89.95 or $69.99 is the probably highest price you'll find it for and um, You see it for $25.99 So these aren't the alternative art, but the alternative art is a little bit more expensive. Like I said Is it cheaper on core TCG? I think so rather than eBay sometimes eBay has a higher or cheaper price than some websites or even TCG players so we have Gallimon, the next one we're gonna be talking about. And Gallimon is right here as well for $39.99 for alternative variant. But like I said, there's not that many listings, which is very difficult to find. And it's obviously going for $89.95 in eBay. And then we have it at $19.24. So these cards are pretty much sought out because we just recently had a Digimon webcam event. And some of the dominating colors were obviously red, purple, blue, Obviously you guys know what the cards are running and some of these people, like competitive players are using some of these awesome cards until we get 1.5 as you can tell it might be difficult also to get 1.5 But these are the prices. Is it better to get on eBay? I don't know Comparing it to core TCG core TCG seems to be the cheaper price and they have a variety of cards as well So we have metal Gururumon. We have it right here. It's sold out So if you guys want to get it here, you cannot because it's sold out Unless you check it out next time if they have it in stock. But right now it's at $69.95 for the alternative art. Obviously, if you're trying to ball on the budget, I go with the regular variant. I wouldn't spend that much money on an S like alternative art if you are budgeting. So I know times are hard. I definitely go the other, I go with the latter option rather than this option. So yeah, so if you want to save a few bucks, like 20 bucks, I honestly say go with 
the basic variant uh, version of it. Don't go with the alternative art. And obviously, like I said, some of these cards are so sought out because obviously people, competitive players, are making it useful for their decks and highly, highly recommend picking them up if you need them for an event or just wait until the release date. Some of these prices might go down and we might have a better market for it as well and see what's the cheaper price in TCG player as well. But for now, love Core TCG. They love us back. So I'm just gonna use that as a reference guide because that's the only place I noticed that sell singles. And then we have Vidramon at $79.95. Alternative art, $34.99. I think you're better off getting it on Core TCG's website. Like I said, I'm just using it as a reference guide. If that's the price for some of these cards, then that should be kind of the selling point of what you should sell it for based on what a reference guide I'm using, which is Core TCG's website. I tried to find another website, but I couldn't find it. I mean, I tried to find it. They didn't have it on their website. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below if there's other websites that you guys want me to compare it to, let it be known in the, in the comment section down below as well. And so obviously I think the single buying it from core tcg will be cheaper and then we go on to the next one is flower cannon this one's really difficult to find right now it's pretty expensive if you want the alternative art obviously the alternative art is going to be a little bit more pricey but if you just want the basic variant art rare it's seven dollars so definitely definitely take a look at it i'm gonna use the core tcg website as reference guide and it's also sold out but Flower Cannon is being sold for between $20 to $30 for the alternative. And if you want the basic rare, it's probably like six, seven bucks. So yeah, there you guys have it. This is crazy. I think set 1.5 being sold at this price and sold out is crazy to me. Let it be known. Smash that like button if you guys want more market watches for Digimon. And let me know in the comment section as well if there's any other cards you want me to look at. I am trying to find my best to find some of the cards to pretty much showcase them and see what it what are the most sought out cards i know it's only set one and there's not that many listings so if you guys know any websites help you super plays out and so we can help the community out as well to see what prices are the best to get them at you know I'm trying to help you guys out help the super plays out too so definitely drop a like smash that uh like button and comment down below and definitely subscribe for more awesome digimon content in the upcoming weeks so like always, y'all stay digitized, Digidestins.